Last time out, I made my debut for the Cowboys. We got a couple of catches early on and a couple of big rushes, and overall, a pretty good preseason for myself, and especially the Cowboys as we finished 4-0. I did have limited playing time, but overall, we saw many cool things, like myself blocking J.J. Watt. Like I said, the Cowboys were 4-0, and I think now, with the regular season starting, it's time to leave our mark. We need to make sure that this league knows who I am as the new starting running back for the Cowboys. But in week number one, it's going to be a very tough test. You know why? Yes, we're at home, but we're facing our divisional rival, the New York Giants, and they have Odell Beckham Jr., the guy who made the crazy catch last year and hopefully won't make it this year for the Cowboys' sake. Here we are in week number one, Dallas, Texas, here at AT&T Stadium, and this is where it all starts. The preseason is over, and now every single game counts. Tony Romo looking to help out his team here and lead them to victory in week number one. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Eli Manning looking to do the same thing. So Odo Beckham Jr. will return the kick, and nothing happened. It's still 0-0 here in the first quarter. First and 10. I'm out for a blocking play, and right off the bat, Williams is getting a catch. He breaks the tackle. He's down the sideline, and he's finally stopped at the 18-yard line. So what a play there by Tony Romo. Next play, second and goal. Here I am getting the run, and we're headed off to the left side. Can we get the touchdown? No. We are just a yard short. I thought I had it there, but it was a pretty good rush. My first rushing yards of my NFL career. Next play, third and goal, and this time we are going to punch it in. My first career NFL touchdown. It comes in week number one against the Giants. Hopefully there are many more of those to come as I just power through some of the holes and find my way into the end zone. So 7-7 here in the the second quarter, four minutes left, and oh my goodness, did you see that? I just juked that guy out of his shoes, and I picked up the first down. What a nice play there. I just got the ball, saw one man to beat, juked him, and almost got it past the, the next guy. But uh, as a result, we're going to get the first down, and we are getting more yardage and another first down on us. Third and sixth play, and now here we are, first and ten. Looking to get something, and we get past the defender, we get a pass, and we are headed down the field, all the way down, finally tackled at the 12-yard line. So Tony Romo starting off good, 5 for 5 with 95 yards, and myself also looking very good. You see here, I just got around the defender, got the pass, and headed down the right side of the field for a pretty big chunk of yards. Second and 20 now, just over a minute left in the second quarter. And we are throwing this deep. Jason Witten, Witten catches it in the end zone. But he fumbles the ball and Collins gets it. So not really what we wanted to do there. The veteran Jason Witten can't get anything done. We're back to return the kick here as I have 90 speed and 99 punt return. Let's see. This kick is in play and I'm going to be able to return it. 45 seconds left in the half. We'll see what I can do. I juke to the right. I spin to the left and I'm free. I'm across midfield, gaining more yards, and they can't stop me. I'm spinning, and there is a flag on the play, but look how many yards I picked up. If the flag is against the Giants, so it will count, and oh my goodness. We just broke about three people's ankles, juking to the right, spinning to the left, and running down the right side of the field for a huge gainage of yards, and look at this. I just broke this guy's ankles. He's going to need surgery to repair those. And what a way to start off week one here in Dallas. Next play, third and five. It's 14 to three here in Dallas. I get the pass. I juke to the left and I am down the sideline at the 20, the 10. I break a tackle and I am into the end zone for my second touchdown of the game. What a performance. Unbelievable. I catch the ball. I have one man to beat and I juke him to the left and I go all the way down to the distance. I get the touchdown and now we are up by two scores, 21 to seven. What a performance here in week one by myself and look how confident I look here in Dallas where the media is all over you. First and 10 now from the 37. Look at me, I'm just powering through guys, breaking tackles. Nobody can bring me down. 
Second and one now here from the 28 yard line. I'm getting it the very next play and I am muscling my way all the way down to the 18 yard line 14 rushes on the day I get another one here looking for the end zone I break a tackle I have the first down and this giant defense cannot take me down I'm down to the five yard line I won't get a touchdown but I will get a pretty nice play there and when it is all said and done we are gonna take week one from the Giants with a final score of 28 to 14 so we added a touchdown at the end and Tony Romo took down Eli Manning. So a very nice job here by the team as we got a touchdown in each quarter of the game with a total score of 28 points. And now we are headed to week two where we will face another division rival. We are going to Philadelphia against the Eagles. Okay, week number two, this is my time. I had a really great week number one performance but if I'm going to establish myself as a number one elite running back in this league, I'm going to need to be consistent. So if I can do that today, that would be huge. First play of the game here, we're throwing it or handing it off to myself, and I am calling for some blocks. I will get 10 yards, but in the end, I'm just going to be a little bit short of the first down. Next play, second and inches at the 43-yard line. I'm going to get the first down, and I'm trying to juke my way out of it. I'll get taken down at the 49 yard line, but a nice gain there as I already have 17 yards on the day. Third and one now, we're at the two minute warning in the first half. Tony Romo, not even out for this play, but look at what happens. Tony Romo gets sacked and he is injured. Is this real life? I played this four days before yesterday and Tony Romo is out. Brandon Whedon is in. This is literally what happened in real life. Unbelievable. So I get the first down here. Time winding down in the third quarter. Second and nine. I'm taking this ball up the middle. I'm getting the first down. And I am breaking tackles all the way down at the 10. The five touchdown. My third touchdown in two games. I am on fire. Breaking through the defense and making them look silly. Just a crazy play there. Now we're in the fourth quarter. Getting the ball again from Brandon Whedon. Trying to break some more tackles. I almost do, and I almost get the first down. Nine rushes on the day. Second and 11 now at the 36-yard line. Two-minute warning here in the second half. I am down the right side, and I am going all the way for the touchdown. My second touchdown in as many games. Oh, my goodness. I am absolutely unstoppable. Down the right side. Nobody can stop me. So it's been a pretty good success here at Dallas. We're up 21-7 in the fourth quarter, and I am fighting for some yards. This defense, they can't figure me out. No defenses can, and that is why we are going to take week number two. We're 2-0 as we defeat the Philadelphia Eagles 24-7. Just a great performance by everyone today as... Mark Sanchez and the Eagles can't take down Tony Romo and the Cowboys, although Tony Romo did get injured, and we'll have to see how serious that is. So we win this game 24-7 as we dominated pretty much every category except for passing yards, but that was because I was getting the ball mostly on the ground and kicking some butt. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode number two of our career mode. I am going to be bumping the difficulty up to all Madden as it is getting a bit easier. But overall, I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you are enjoying the series, go ahead, make sure to leave a like so I can produce some more. And next week, we are taking on Matt Ryan and the ON2 Falcons. Again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Yeah, I learned